Atrial fibrillation is a very common medical condition, and it's an irregular heart rhythm. Part of care for atrial fibrillation often includes trying to keep the heart in normal rhythm, and that's often facilitated with a procedure called catheter ablation. Now we have a brand new technology called pulse field ablation. The procedure is much quicker, and so patients are exposed to shorter durations of anesthesia. There's less inflammation, less discomfort, and a quicker recovery for patients. We put a very tiny hole or holes in the blood vessels of the groin, and we'll thread wires up into the heart. Over the wires, we'll pass plastic tubes. And then when we get into the heart, we'll pass into the left atrium, which is the top left chamber of the heart. And we'll move our catheters around and take electrical recordings from the tissue. Those recordings are fused with a hologram of your heart. And that hologram is then used for the guidance of the ablation procedure where we will create ablation lesions around some of the veins and any other locations in the heart that trigger atrial fibrillation. Once that procedure is done, we'll withdraw all catheters and you'll need to lie flat for several hours. But in most cases, you can go home the same day or the next morning. And I think it's important to emphasize that at Duke Health, we bring a lot of advantages to our patients and their families. Our faculty have been involved in the preclinical development of many of the pulse field ablation systems, and our center does over a thousand AF ablations a year. The heart's unique in that it's the muscle in the body that is contracting continuously, 60 to 100 times per minute, 60 minutes per hour, 24 hours per day, 365 days per year. And as a heart rhythm specialist, it brings myself and my colleagues great joy to make sure that people can rely upon their heart.